Usually in Advent we light candles. Uh, each Sunday a different candle is lit and the candles represent some aspect uh, of the Christian story. Now we haven't done that this year up at the church, but I thought in these four days of this week as we come into Christmas itself that we would light just such candles. And the first candle is the candle of hope. If ever there was an event that lit hope in people's hearts, it was the coming of the Saviour into the world. The light shining in darkness, we are told. And the darkness has never and will never be able to extinguish it. You'll find that in the first chapter of John. Light shining in the darkness. That has to be a picture of hope. That no matter how difficult your circumstances may be, no matter how difficult the times may be in which we are living, there has always and will always be the light of Jesus that will shine. And the world, the devil, you name the worst opponents of the gospel can try their best or their worst. They will never succeed. That is the hope. The light has come. And you and I, as Christian men and women, are called to hope. Now hear that. It's a summons given to us, to you and to me. We are called to be people of hope. So let us stir up our hearts. Let's kindle that flame that at times may have gone very low. And let us once more cling to the hope. As the writer to the Hebrew says, a hope that is a veritable or true anchor of the soul. So be a man, be a woman of hope. Live it out. May it be seen in your eyes and the way that you live and speak. God be with you.